Hello everyone, in this video we're just going to show you how to export out for mobile uh, your game. I just opened up a blank project and this is based off of a paid subscription. So there is a way to get your uh, uh, mobile game made from the free version and I will do that in a different video. But on this one, it's real simple. You go to menu, go to project, and then you're going to see export and exports going to give you all these items. So uh, you got your web, your mobile ones, you got some desktop items here. Uh, 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 you have this playable ad piece here and you got your Xbox and windows, uh, pieces. It says it's deprecated. So you, you got to uh, double check to see if you're going to do this, but we just care about mobile. So all you have to do is click on this and hit next. However, when I do this, you're going to get an error because you need to have a company name or an application ID, com.companyname.name, which, which is just called reverse domain uh, name. So what we need to do is click one time and then we need to go to the project properties, click view, and then this is where you want to fill in your description and stuff. So my first game and then this is the ID you need to do something. So com dot game title dot studio name or just whatever you want. It's really up to you. And then you put your name there, email and any website pieces. Once you've done that, then you can do this export and it will let you go to the next stage. And this is where uh, you're going to get asked if uh, you wanted to uh, get rid of duplicates, which is really helpful. And if you want to uh, recompress any images you have and so forth, and you could even minify your script if you want to, and then you could hit next. And then this is where it asks you, okay, uh, it uses Cordova to actually uh, create this APK for you. So you wanna create your minimum version, uh, and then you could, uh, use uh, your Android build here, you could do a debug APK, which is what will allow you to install it on your phone. And if you have the developer options available, it will let you run it. Uh, if you have it, want to sign it and get it ready for publication, you can do these as well or an unsigned release, which means it's not going to be on Google Play and just on your website or something like that. So you just want to check debug APK. And then in the properties, you could whitelist certain types of URLs and so forth. You don't, you could just leave everything as is for right now. And if you're using camera, microphone, external, right, whatever, you can do that. If you don't want your game to have the status bar, check this. That way then it won't show up. And then you hit next and it's just going to do its magic. And it's going to go through this process and based on how long it is and like how much stuff you have in it, it may take a bit longer. And then you get this message down here where it tells you it's preparing the project. So as you just wait for that, it will eventually finish. And once it does, we get to the next step. All right. So now it's at the building Android phase and you just got to hang tight and there we go. And then this will pop up. If you've done everything correctly, you will be good to go. And then you could click on open project manager. You could download this because uh, their servers are the one that actually kind of helps build this out and sends it back to you type of thing. And so you can uh, click on download. You're going to get your APK down here and you're all set. And then you can uh, throw that onto your phone and test it out or share it with others. Uh, and just remember, this is the debug version. So you have to have USB debugging on uh, in order for the app to load and so forth. All right. So that is how you can get an APK case set up without, uh, without having it signed with your Android developer account.